The highly anticipated Season 7 of Outlander is almost here. Yes, almost. We're awaiting the arrival of our favorite Fraser clan and how their stories unfold. But for now, we're going to talk about some old wounds. In this video, we'll look at the past mistake of Jamie that still haunts Claire and more on whether Season 7 of Outlander will be split into two parts or not. So let's get right in. First off, this is Jamie Fraser's past mistake that still pains Claire. In Season 7 of Outlander, we'll get to see a familiar face. The kind of face that we haven't seen for years, but we still know who it is. Any guesses? Well, it's William Ransom. Ring a bell? William Ransom is the child of Jamie and Lady Geneva Dunsany. In Outlanders Season 3, Jamie fathered a child with another woman while he was at Hellwater Estate. Jamie was still reeling from the loss of Claire. She went back to her time through the stones, and he couldn't get past the trauma of Culloden as well. As one can imagine, Jamie was in a lot of pain, and he never had imagined Claire coming back to him. Fans will likely remember that Jamie and Lady Geneva had one intimate night that ended in her getting pregnant. Soon after, things became complicated for Geneva as well as Jamie. After she died, Jamie watched his son grow up without ever telling him who his real father is. William was raised by Lord John Grey and his wife Isabel, who was Geneva's sister. Ultimately, Jamie had to leave Hellwater because he had to protect his child and Lord Grey's reputation too. While speaking about William's return in Season 7, Outlander star Sophie Skelton, who plays Brie Brianna Fraser spoke about the old wounds that have caused Claire pain to this day. William has reminded Claire of Jamie's infidelity and it was a hard pill to swallow. What's more, here's what Sophie Skelton had to say about Jamie's past. The actress has expressed how Claire had been kept in the dark regarding the truth of William Ransom and she was heartbroken when Jamie confessed to her. Similarly, Skelton has also said that it's almost how Brianna felt when Claire hid the truth about her real father. About William, Sophie has said, regarding William, again, I think this is is something that pains Claire to this day, and it wasn't really Brianna's secret to know. Wishes on deathbeds were made, and she was told when the time was right. I think she can respect both the value of a promise and the value of timing. At first, and at the young and complicated age she was when she found it, it wasn't an easy one for her. The upcoming season is based on Diana Gabaldon's book An Echo in the Bone, and it introduces William Ransom as a young man. He has an important role to play, and it'll be interesting to see how the producers of the show have created the connection. It'll also be shocking to see if William ever sees the resemblance with Jamie, and fans are anticipating whether he'll find out the truth. We're totally ready to see how the emotions and drama will unfold for the Frasers. Following up, is Outlander Season 7 going to be split into two parts? Diehard Outlander fans have been waiting for the arrival of Season 7 for so long, but at least it wasn't a Droughtlander, you know? The star's hit drama has been filming for quite some time now, and almost nothing was said of its release state. What are we going to see a split season? For the past few months, fans have been moved forward with the assumption that the show is going to be aired in two different parts. This could be because the storyline of the upcoming season is pretty extensive, and instead of cutting out plot lines, it's better to have an extended season. This could also retain network subscribers for a longer period, and we might get the next season back sooner. Well, the biggest thing that the network can do is to split the season evenly, as long as it makes sense with the storyline. Like Yellowstone, in its latest season, has done an eight-episode block before coming back next year with the final six for season five. Regardless of splitting the season evenly or not, it's a great way to hook audiences to the story. Diehard fans are surely going to want to see more of the Frasers, so we're all waiting anxiously for the upcoming season's release. As for now, we're remaining optimistic that we'll get the first part before summer and the remaining part afterward. Anything but Droughtlander this time. Not to mention, here's everything we know so far about Outlander's season seven. The phenomenon the finale of season 6 left viewers in a state of shock and awe. We just couldn't wait too long for the next season to arrive. And now, finally, we have some updates regarding the storyline of season 7. Season 7 will follow the adventures and turmoils of Claire and Jamie Fraser in America during the revolution. And guess what? More time travel. Now, this has got to be the most exciting part. Either Claire or Brianna could travel back to their time, and it's going to be full of suspense. Filming season 7 had presented a lot of challenges for the cast and crew. All of that led to delay after delay. Mud fear not, fellow Sassanax. The upcoming season will consist of 16 episodes, which could be split into two parts, each part having eight episodes and so on. Well, we're all in for the supersized season. Katrina Balfe, Sam Hewen, Sophie Skelton, and Richard Rankin are all set to reprise their roles and we'll see more of Marsali and Fergus too. Not to mention the addition of Lord John Grey and William Ransom has also made the plot thrilling. We're headed towards the American 
American Revolution and the new season will test the resilience of the Frasers as well as the people of the community. One producer has expressed that they'll keep making Outlander till Jamie and Claire are 100 years old. Honestly, why not? Fans would never get tired of watching their favorite on-screen family. Next up, we'll probably be seeing some older faces in the latest season. Along with the addition of new cast members, we're going to see some familiar faces too. But just how familiar? Andrew Webb will be reprising his season one role as Brian Fraser, and we're also going to be seeing the return of Gray and McTavish as Dougal McKenzie. Surprised? Well, fans are still wondering how this is all going to fit in with the timeline of the show, given that Dougal is basically dead. Flashbacks are a possibility, but showrunner Matthew B. Roberts has hinted at a different explanation. He has expressed that one of the many joys of Outlander's concept of time travel is that we're able to visit some past moments or some of our favorite or maybe not so favorite characters too. Whatever it is, we're already anticipating how everything's going to turn out for the Frasers. Up next, Katrina Balfe would like to try her hand at directing the show. Do you want to see Katrina Balfe direct an episode of Outlander? Well, we do too. It's not known which episode in what season she'll direct, but the actress has considered this a possibility. She has expressed that she always wanted to try her hand at directing and it would be so interesting interesting to see Jamie and Claire through Katrina's perspective. The actress is already close with the cameraman and the crew members. They've all been filming since around 2014 to 15, and the cast and crew are basically family at this point. Given how much insight she has, Katrina Balfe could surely direct a bomb episode. We're hoping to see her not just in front of the camera, but behind the camera too. Coming up, here's what we know from Gabaldon's book about the upcoming season. The latest season of everyone's favorite historical drama is based on Diana Gabaldon book, An Echo in the Bone. Bookworms probably already knew this. The showrunners have been excited to start breaking into the book and bringing out the story for us in Season 7. On Gabaldon's website, the description of the story is set in America, London, Scotland, and Canada. The cover image of the book reflects the shape of an ancient military weapon called a caltrop. The weapon has sharp points, and the Romans used it to deter elephants. This could have multiple meanings for the show. Maybe it's hinting towards another tragic development in the American Revolutionary War. An Echo in the Bone has four major storylines. There's, of course, Jamie and Claire. Then there's Roger and Brianna, Lord John Gray and William, and young Ian, all intersecting at the point of the American Revolution. Maybe the point in the storyline refers to the sharp point of the Caltrop. Wow, this sounds too interesting to ignore. Overall, audiences are anticipating the fate of the Frasers and the rest of the families and how the revolution is going to impact their lives. It'll also be interesting to see which parts of the book will be mentioned in the show. Lastly, the upcoming season is going to be epic as ever. There are so many books in the Outlander series by Diana Gabaldon, and we just never want this story to end. Following on from what we know of An Echo and the Bone, we can say that the upcoming season is surely going to be as epic as ever. It also looks like Stars and Sony want to stay in the Outlander business. Earlier, a prequel series was also announced that focused on the love story of Jamie Fraser's parents. The show's titled Blood of My Blood, and it'll follow the lives of Ellen McKenzie and Brian Fraser. Outlander showrunner Matthew B. Roberts and Ronald D. Moore will return as executive producers and we're getting hints of another epic tale. Fans have also asked for a spin-off series featuring the life of Lord John Gray and use Gabaldon's books as a reference for his character development. That also sounds too interesting to ignore. And depending on how well the prequel series works, this could also kick off. As for Season 7, fans are anticipating a lot of old wounds that are going to be re opened, and along with all the emotions and turmoils, let's not forget the battle that'll unfold. We're all excited to see how much of Gabaldon's book is referenced, and we're in a lot of suspense for now. That's a wrap for this video, so are you excited about Outlander's upcoming season? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one!